Mazik Middle School students are getting the opportunity to send their ideas into space. Addie Miners introduces us to the winners of NASA's Tech Rise Challenge and tells us how their experiment could help send humans to Mars. It's not every day that your phone rings and NASA is on the other line. But for this group of Mazik middle schoolers, that dream became a reality last month. And then I realized no one had actually, not many people had actually measured the speed of sound on Earth versus in the air, like with the gravity differences and everything. So Augustia and his buddies decided they wanted to find that data themselves. So they submitted an experiment to the NASA TechRise Challenge. Students spent several weeks working on their project and out of hundreds of applicants were chosen by NASA. Now they'll have to use what's inside this box to bring their experiment to life. It'll use an ultrasonic sensor, which is basically a sensor that throws the undetectable sound waves by the human ear. It just throws it and then those sound waves can just bounce back. And that will tell the students what the speed of undetectable so sound is at 70,000 feet in the air, which they say could help tell us a lot about other planets' atmospheres. And you can use that information to find the speed of sound difference on other places like Mars or the Moon. That could be potentially useful for instruments that use sound. And if you know those sound vari variations, you can account for that. And if you don't, your instruments might fail. Students won't get to launch their experiment until later this year. So the next few weeks is going to be us learning all the different parts, lots of electronics, lots of coding, a lot of um, connecting wires. But they say this experience has brought them one step closer to their dream of reaching the stars. Ever since I've heard about space and planets and like orbits and all, I've always been uh, interested. I, I just like the idea of like a place that we've like not explored most of. I'm sure you don't have any doubt that they can reach NASA one day. Oh, no doubt at all. Yeah, I'm just, I can't wait until all the engineers at NASA remember Mr. Holker, their science teacher. Addie Miners, WLKY News. And